Welcome to Pete's Kitchen. Now today on the menu, well, I'm making a little, a little, what do I call it? Uh, can use as a dessert. Um, can use it as a appetizer. Okay, this is what we call banana flitters, which is the overripe banana. Instead of chewing them out. We use it to make flitters. And to that, I'm gonna add about, this is about uh, five ripe, overripe banana or so. Okay? And to that, I'm gonna add about a cup of all-purpose flour. Now, back home when we make it, we never normally put baking powder in it, but some people do. That's your choice. Okay, and if you do choose to put baking powder, you know, to that, you know, if you're gonna use a cup or so, you're gonna probably use a, maybe about a, a quarter teaspoon of uh, baking powder. Okay, and to that, dark brown sugar. Some people, you can use the white sugar if you want. It's up to you. Use about, uh, Two tablespoons of um, brown sugar. I got my cinnamon over here. I got my nutmeg over here. It's already grated in there. And I got my vanilla over here. Okay? I'm going to add the flour and stuff to it. Mix it. Put it in a pot and fry it. You know, like I said, some people, you know, you can use it as a as an appetizer. You can use it as a a breakfast. You know, for breakfast, some people just so use it as breakfast. You know, uh, fitters in in some coffee, fitters in tea. You know, it, it just depends. Or some people use it as dessert. You can you know sprinkle uh, powdered sugar on it and serve it as a dessert. You know, so it's just up to you how you want to do it. Because it's actually sweet. Okay? So, with that, like I said, I'm going to add about, about a quarter, about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Um, cinnamon okay about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla okay and you're gonna fry it you can use canola oil you can use whatever oil you want you know, usually when we're doing it back home, you know, we usually submerge this in a lot of oil. Over here, you know, you, you can drain it, you know, you can you can drain it on a, um, a rack if you want, that's up to you. But you know, usually, you know, you just use a, um, a plate with a paper towel. You know, cause I'm, I'm gonna try my best that's the only thing I'm going to do a little bit different. I already add the sugar to it and everything already. The uh, overripe banana is there. The brown sugar is in there. And to that, let me get a, um, let me get a sieve. I'm going to sieve the flour out. All right. The floor, you know, don't want no lumps. Mm -hmm. You don't want to over overshadow this with um, a lot of flour. 
Well, it depends on how much, how big a batch, batch of stuff you're making. Okay? How big the batch is. How many bananas you're using. Well, you don't want to overshadow it with um, a lot of flour. Why? You don't want to, you, you know, you want to taste the, um, you want to actually taste the bananas in it. You know, maybe little chunks of banana, little pieces of banana and stuff in it. You know, and like I said before, this is like five, what, what, what was it, what, about well, five, six ripe bananas. Okay, overripe bananas. All right. So I'm stirring this in a little at a time. Okay. Do it a little at a time. Now I know folks, it's been a while since I put up any video. Okay, I know that. But, it is what it is. Okay. So, this should be good. We'll mix this out. We we'll turn this fire on right here. And we're gonna do this on uh, on about um, medium heat. You know, you're not, you're not gonna do it on very high heat. Okay, I'm gonna use a spoon. You can use a spoon to spoon it in, or you can use um, we call it, you know, a scoop. To scoop it in, just up to you. Use one of those small scoop. Scoop it in. Scoop it, drop it in the pot, in the oil, and you're good to go. Okay. And that's it. Now, like I said, it's up to you if you want it put baking powder in there but the original way we do it back home we don't put no baking powder or anything in there okay there's no baking powder no eggs no nothing like that we just the banana the flour little spices like what I did the sugar that's it and we fry it up Put it on the plate to drain, a piece of paper towel or something, or, um, or a rack. You know, drain out some of the oil. And that's it. It's good to go. I'm going to try my best not to submerge this too much into oil. Okay, I'm using um, canola. I'm using canola oil. Okay, and I have the plastic bag on it because I don't want the the oil to mess my place up. When I sit it down in my pantry, you know I don't want the, <laughs> the oil to mess up the place. Even though I wipe off the bottle and stuff, it's still sometimes, you know. So, see, I'm using this. Okay, so it's like a serving spoon. 
okay? And as soon as the oil, you are trying to eat it, I'm gonna drop them in the pot, okay? And you'll see. All right, this is um, fritters. So, okay, there we go. So, just about there. Some people make them very big, you know. See, that's it, just scoop it in. Drop them in the pot, in the oil, okay? No, and I'm telling you, you make this even, you know, as a, you know, a dessert or something, a starter, something, just put it out, make it and put it out, you know, so people can have it, even, you know, when, you know, because we're close to Thanksgiving right now, so you make this, like Thanksgiving morning or something, and you make a batch of it, and you put it out, and people just feed on it, you know? It's, it's like a starter. Put it out in the morning, you can put it out when people start coming, you know, your guests start to arrive. You know, you put it out and trust me, sprinkle a little powder sugar on it and they'll love it, believe me. Trust me when I tell you that, all right? So you can serve it in many ways. Some people serve it on the side with their dinner you know yeah some people put it on the side with their dinner and like i said some people back home they eat it as you know as a breakfast just this and some tea or coffee that's it and they're good to go all right so stick around as soon as this thing start bubbling up i'll come back to you guys all right welcome back now folks you can see and i tell you this they fry up very quickly okay very quickly uh, i'm telling you if you put these out thanksgiving christmas put it out As a starter, let you get gets them have it. Just like how you would make your um your chips and your dips and and stuff like that and put it out when your guests start coming, they have stuff to snack on to the, the main course, you know. <laughs> yeah, you put you make a batch of this and you put it out, you sprinkle some powdered sugar on it, and I'm telling you, they'll love you for it. They'll ask you what it is. Well it's actually just ripe bananas, overripe bananas. You can you know. You don't have to use the, you know, real, 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 real overripe bananas, but they have to be really ripe, if you understand what I'm saying. It can't be, you know, green or in between, you know, it has to be ripe, ripe and real ripe and sweet. Okay? But it don't have to be, you know, ripe to the point where the banana... You know, start turning black. 
You know, don't have to be like that. You know, so if you want to go out and say, buy a bunch of a ripe banana, and it's really ripe, you know, yeah. And that's it. You see that? See that, folks? That's it. Huh? I, I, you know, it's you cook up very quick. Put it on the on the thing to drain. And that's it. Okay. You know you can if you want when you're doing it. You can do it with less oil. You know. It can be. It can get very oily because this thing do soaks up oil. You know. So, yeah. You know, if you want to do it like that, you know, sure, go ahead. Do it with less oil, it's even better. Okay? So I'm going to drop. Second batch. Okay. Remember now, don't have the stove too high because of the sugar, it will burn very quickly. Okay. So you got to do this on medium heat. Okay. Medium heat is fine. That's it folks. So I'm gonna wait until this side, you know. This, this is similar to you know as far as the cooking process go, it's actually similar to pancake. Mm-hmm. When you see the like on top of it start bubbling, you know, you know it's time to turn it. You understand? Yeah. It's actually similar to pancake. Like when you're making pancake, you'll know when to flip it. Hmm? Like I told you before, it cooks very quick because of the sugar. If, so if you're not careful, it, it, it will burn. So you gotta watch it, okay? Yes. We got sugar in there. We got plus the banana. The bananas are already sweet. Plus you put brown sugar in there or whatever sugar you want to use. Granulated sugar. Just up to you. You know? Yep. So, that's it. I'll take this, put these aside. Alright? See, so these are almost um, finished cooking already. You know? Once, once the, the oil gets going, eat up, that's it. Cooks very quick. And like I said, you'll know when to flip it because it's, it's, if you ever made homemade pancake or anything like that before, you'll know the bubble, when you see the bubble coming on top, you know, it's time, it's time to flip it. You know. 
So it's a, it's, a sim, it's a similar cooking process with this. And folks, I'm just making this stuff for my, my kids there so my kids can have it. Because I have some ripe banana, I had some ripe banana, I, I, instead I throw them out. You know? I use them up, right? that's it so I'm gonna continue doing this as a matter of fact I'm not even gonna cut the video because I'm almost done so it doesn't make no sense I tell you um, I'll be back All right. I'll take my brown sugar here put that aside okay See? Look. See that? That's the fitters. And you dust it with, because it's sweet. It's very sweet. And you dust it with powdered sugar if you want. That's up to you. You don't have to because it's already sweet. Okay? take this out and finish up you know put the last little bit maybe two spoonful or something like that that's it okay That's it. I'm gonna finish this up. I'll come back and show you guys. Because I have about maybe yeah, two spoonful or three spoonful of um, scoop of it left. And that's it. So let's just stick around and I'll be back to show you guys. Alright. Folks, that's it. Banana fritters. And I sprinkle a little powder sugar on it. Not much. Just a little. Because like I said before, it's already sweet. Okay? It's already sweet. So you don't sprinkle that much. Alrighty? And that's it. Let me tell you something. I already start eating. And here it goes. Okay? Wow. That's it. Okay, folks. I'm going to list the recipe in the description. And the ingredients and everything. The instruction how to do it. It's a, it's a simple thing. Okay. You can try it. Like I said. Thanksgiving, Christmas and stuff is coming up. For whosoever celebrated Kwanzaa, whatever, you can try it, put it out, you know, and have it, have it as a starter when you guess they start arriving, and just try it out. It's okay. So I'm going to put the ingredients, instruction, and everything in the description box, and you can try it and tell me if you like it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please, don't forget to subscribe 
to the video, to my videos on my channel, okay? Until next time, Pete's Kitchen tuning out.